last ball. That's just what Warney wanted. LBW. And that was his 18th delivery, third over. Big shout from the Australians. And uh, umpire Shepherd rules in favour of Shane Warne. He gets his second. A big breakthrough for the Australians to the Karatni. Out. Well, there he is. He's finally done it. Got the just reward for some good tight bowling. That one did turn. I'll be interested to see if it's out of that foot mark there. But got the fine edge on it there. Gilchrist picks it up. Warney, well, he's got a relief look on his face. Yes, justification for some good solid leg spin bowling from Shane Warne. On this occasion, gets a bit more side spin on it. Just catches the outside edge. Adam Gilchrist takes a very good catch. And that's justification for some very, very good bowling from Shane Warne. Oh, that's a good delivery. Wonderful delivery. A perfect uh, leg spinner's delivery. Pitched on middle and off, spun across. Dharmasena not getting up to the pitch of it. The outside edge. A simple catch to Hayden. And number four for Warren. Entertainment. Catch! Yeah. Oh, he's just softly <laughs> hit it back to uh, Shane Warren. And that other took Shane Warren too by surprise. Only then was um, the expectation was that he would uh, make a big heave, but um, this was very gently patted back to Shane Warren as if to say, "Look, you deserve a wicket." Warney wicket count also for an Aussie fan. <laughs> Hello, Boyd is just sitting behind me. He made a very good point that if Warney takes a wicket now, they're in trouble with the sign. It'll take an hour and a half to cross out the six and put a seven in. But Warney will be happy. Here we go. Spin from both ends. Well, that's the first one that really has turned and bounced. Shane Warne, fantastic delivery. Matthew Hayden did his part in that wicket. It's a big shot for LBW, and he's gone. Umpire Shepherd rules in favour of Shane Warne. Takes his second wicket of the day. A big shot. And Dilshan has been adjudged LBW for six. And you've got quality spinners coming in on a fifth day wicket. It's, uh, it's hard yards. And there it is, a fantastic delivery from Shane Warne. Tossed well in the air. And the ripping leg spinner catches the edge of, edge of Joe Wartner's bat. And Matthew Hayden does the rest, so the Australians right on top. The man of the moment. Uh, Jeffrey, can you see any smoke coming off those fingers? He's on fire. Smoke's coming off the pitch, I know that much. So Stuart McGill joins the party. Perfectly flighted and landed Rongan. Joy Saria catches the edge. Oh! Well, <laughs> well that really went along the ground and it beat everyone. The buys went past the wicket keeper and um, in fact it went between leg slip and the wicket keeper. Spun right across, now, and uh, there was no way Tilakrapta was going to get bat on that. Just look at this. Nice stuff, Warney. Look at the look on Hashad Tilakrapta, and Warney's gone. What? Ah! Him. Fantastic delivery. Perfect for it to curve like this. Look at it go. Just spread his legs. In style. Leg spinners, these two. Sweeps it straight up the air. Andrew Simons under it, and there is wicket number 500. Well done, Shane Warne. Absolutely fantastic stuff. The boys on the hill celebrate. That is absolutely brilliant. I've got goosebumps. What a moment. What a magic moment. Oh, 
I think he looks a bit emotional. Quite rightly so. Look, he's been absolutely superb for Australian cricket, world cricket. He's a super character, acknowledges the crowd. That is special stuff, Shane Warne. You are a champion. We've got Jeff Thompson with Jeff Lawson. Ah, oh, thanks, AB. A tremendous moment in Test cricket history. And uh, up at Candy for the second test, we might have another. 132 matches. This is the 500. This is how it happened. Went to sweep straight up in the air. Andrew Simons couldn't get there quick enough. He wanted to be in the record books as well for catching it. <laughs> well, he's a debutant. He's playing his first test match. And uh, quite rightly, yesterday. There it is. <laughs> Matty Hayden, another catch for him. Straight to it. Well, that's a world that equals a world record for seven catches in a match now for Matty Hayden. And I tell you what, some of them have been pretty easy, but mind you, you've got to catch them. And Shane Warne, that's his fifer, the second fifer in this match. 25th five wicket haul in his 108th test match. Another full, sharply turned leg spin. Matt Hayden takes another fairly easy one, but they all count. He sets a world record, equals a world record. Warren takes 501. I'll probably name a brand of jeans after. Come on, Dharma Senegal. Likes playing shots. Uh, well, I can remember. I don't think it'd be any different in there. <laughs> well, well, he wasn't going to stick around, was he? And uh, well, I think that's fitting there. Warren's got his fifer, but uh, Stuart McGill picks up four for 74 from his 16 overs. The Australians, I don't think they'll have uh, a much better match than this. This is such a good win, such a turnaround here. Look at them hugging one another. There's uh, been records falling, record partnerships, wickets taken, 500 wickets for Warney. You name it, this match has had it. Three tests yesterday. People must be looking and say, well, how come Australia got 500 yesterday? And we're all bowled out for 154. So everything did happen in this test match and Australia coming out uh, convincing winners. It's been a great effort by uh, the Australian team. It's been an all-round performance, of course, uh, Shane Warne uh, doing the final touches here on this last day, Sri Lanka all out for 154 and a very happy Australian team certainly pointing to his first test match as captain and uh, coming out uh, winners. And there you are, Shane Warne um, taking memento of that uh, wicket and warning his count 501.